What the f <music> Our rated R Archie series. Who knew we were gonna finally reach that point where this guy here, you know, you, you, you could think of so many possibilities of what to do with Archie, but this is the weirdest thing that I ever read. BleedingCool.com released an article where they had supposedly the script to the pilot for Riverdale on CW. Uh, <laughs> let's go over a few highlights of that article. Archie Andrews slept with his music teacher and blackmailed her. It doesn't make any sense at all. And it's not just Archie and Casey Keller, we're talking about everyone. Let's take a simple read of the plot, shall we? The script begins with a narrator talking about the town of Riverdale and how it isn't what people think. We are shown what may be familiar locations. The city hall, the cinema, Pops Chocolate Diner, but also the derelict buildings with boarded up walls, graffiti, and meth addicts. Because this is the real Riverdale. It's Betty and Veronica Mars. It starts with the death of Jason Blossom, Cheryl Blossom's twin brother, and doesn't stop. This is a Riverdale with kids who talk about rainbow parties, a Reggie who gets badly drunk. What the heck is going on? A Riverdale of strip joints. This isn't the Riverdale that... This isn't it. This isn't that Riverdale. Okay, so obviously that's not the kind of Riverdale that we're gonna see. It's gonna be like every other movie now. It's gonna be dark and... I'm getting sick of these dark tone movies. Ever since Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins, everyone has tried going dark. Archie's just one of those worlds that I feel like could never go dark. Okay, let's face it, it's gonna happen. It might not be that dark, but it's gonna be kind of dark. Almost like, um, if you're familiar with the cartoon, Archie's Weird Mysteries, there was a certain darkness to it. Not like dark, serious dark, just like comedy dark. Almost like an Archie turned into a semi Scooby Doo kind of series. I was thinking of that kind of dark. But when they talked about rainbow parties, Archie blackmailing his teacher after sleeping with her. Veronica's mom is a recent divorcee. It just. This is just a really, really weird plot. I don't know what's gonna happen. Jughead is an emo heartthrob. Played by Cole Sprouse. Jason and Cheryl Blossom could have stepped from an Abercrombie and Fitch catalog. Not surprised. Pop Tate is Greek. Veronica and her divorced mother are two dark haired beauties. Betty is blonde, pretty 16. That's all you get. Keller, her gay confidant, is 16 and cute. Sexually active on Grindr and dealing with a homophobic military dad. Okay, nothing nothing bad with that. It's a good message, you know. Um, talk about homophobia, but a bit, maybe going too far with the whole grinder thing. Finally, Archie Andrews, a little more in your face though slightly reserved. 16, red haired. He's called Justin Gingerlake because of his hair color. Josie calls him Justin Gingerlake. Recently buffed up after working for his dad's construction company over the summer and lives next door to Betty who is madly in love with him. And Veronica? She just wants a boy toy to pass the summer, and she's never gone ginge before. An excerpt from the script, supposedly. Archie says, Juggy, I'm sorry, man. I never said that to you, but I'm so f Jughead. For which part of it? Archie says, all of it. Everything. I was a real dick. Maybe it should be time. There was an old 1990s TV movie talking about, like, 10 years after Riverdale and Archie kind of ends up sleeping with Betty and something some sort of thing like that And since we're on the topic of those sex parties, you might as well talk about it Who does Archie end up sleeping with? Does he end up sleeping with every girl in town? He had his sexual escapade? Anyway, I'm pretty much undecided about what this series is going to be like because on one hand you want Archie to be uh, as wholesome as possible, staying to it, true to its heart. It never goes beyond a certain level. However, recently, the Archie comics have slowly become a bit more mature, trying to target a new audience. So that makes me think, okay, you really want to keep it wholesome, but at the same time, you do want to have that other, other world where you could freely, just freely discuss it. I mean, a lot of teenagers talk about sex and, and such and other things and maybe drugs and peer pressure. Of course, you're gonna have the daily teenage problem, and then of course, since they're growing up, they're gonna be having these other 
issues like Archie had a one night stand with X or somebody. Maybe he ended up having a one night stand with Cheryl Blossom and they'll never talk about it. But then they fall in love. And then what happens to Betty and Veronica? Maybe Moose took steroids a lot. That's why he was so dominant in sports. Maybe Reggie is such a attention seeker. That's why he gets drunk all the time. Casey Keller, maybe it's his outlet to maybe escape from all the pressures of his homophobic dad. Maybe, you know, that's why he's so active on Grindr. Betty doesn't have much of a des description. Veronica's from a broken home. Jughead's an emo heartthrob. There's even a part that talks about how Jughead is, is deaf. Very interesting note. But I've always wondered if there was ever a major Asian character. Just, you'd think by now Archie would have done it. That's all there is that I can say. What's gonna happen in this Riverdale series? I'm pretty sure this is going to go through a lot of rewrites, so I'm not really expecting it to be this hardcore, just a little bit of hardcore. And don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to see more.